Hello there, everybody. As uh, I'm sure that most of you are aware, there's been some big changes that we've had to make to this channel because of the whole COPPA situation. So now, if you want to leave a comment on the video, here's how. There is a link in the description that will take you to the TWR community wiki. Um, I would advise you to follow that link because once you get there, you will get to our blog where you can leave comments, uh, share your thoughts, talk about how bad of a podcast host I am, all that good stuff. The only thing that you need to do is make a fandom wiki account if you don't have one. We also have a Twitter at TTTEC Radio, uh, so you can feel free to go there and interact with us. Let us know uh, what you're thinking about our videos. All right, with that said, guys, uh, hope you enjoy this episode of Blue Midwest Mysteries. Ooh, watch out. We got a hot new episode of Blue Midwest Mysteries coming right out the oven. We're going to set it down on the table right in front of you. Be careful, though. It's 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 hot. Uh, I'm your head chef, Mr. MPS 2002. And uh, alongside me, um, I have a, a special special guest sous chef for this episode, uh, Mr. Wooden Railway Only. You made me take out the thing without oven mitts. My hands are on fire. Right yeah, now. well, that's because you're my sous chef, and you're just simply not as important as me. Um, Percy number six is gone this week because of an. Uh, well, let's just say there was a, there was there was a, a incident in the back of the kitchen, uh, involving a knife and several pounds of uh, baking powder. So we uh yeah we got to we got to deal with that first. So, but Wooden Railway only is filling in for this week's episode of Blue Midwest Mysteries. I mean, I suppose it doesn't really make sense to say this week's because these don't go up on like a like a weekly schedule. They just kind of go up whenever we can fit them in. But yeah, what's up, dog? How's it going? I'm good. I had a really good night's nice, really good night's nice sleep. Yeah. I uh yeah, sleep is sleep is good. It's one of my top five favorite things. I'd have to say, <laughs> I just I wish there was a way that you could sleep and eat at the same time, because then I could do two of my favorite things at the same time. I mean, I suppose that is I suppose that's just sleepwalking. Funny thing is, like I like sleep. Of course I do. It feels great. But if I sleep in for too long, let's say I go sleep until like eleven in the morning, I feel like I just wasted my morning. Yeah, normally I wake up. I wake up pretty early. I normally wake up at like eight or nine, so I normally have some time to get shit done in the morning. Yeah, that's how you do it. How's your How's your twenty twenty going so far, man? Twenty twenty's been really solid so far. Yeah, I'm content. I mean, obviously there's like shit news going on. <laughs> yeah, but personally, I'm doing all right. Yeah, dude. I um, I mean, so far, at least for me personally, this year's been good. Like you said, for the world in general, it's kind of been fucked. Mm -hmm. But I mean, what are we gonna what are we gonna do about it? I suppose nothing we can do other than just sit here and record a podcast. So I saw the funniest tweet the other day. It's a Chinese guy tweeting, um, "I'm gonna cough really loud on the train today and see who's racist." Oh, I thought that I I thought that that was gonna get racist. If I'm being honest, I thought you were gonna make a like a little little joke there. I don't know. Hold on. One oh, second. he wants to do a bit. No, I'm not doing a bit. I'm just showing you something. Have I showed you this yet? So I bought this comic book. Oh, what nice. I'm showing him is this comic book that I bought in an antique shop. Oh my god, my headphones are like destroyed. <laughs> Look at what the fuck happened here. Did like a wild animal get to these? Holy fuck. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So what I'm showing Wooden Railway only is a comic book from uh, 19... Where the fuck is the... Top right, wouldn't it? How are they not gonna date this thing? No, it says it's twenty cents, but how the fuck are they not gonna hold on? Sorry, this oh, is Oh, it's coming out of the package. Whoa. This is a comic book. This is a Superboy comic book that features on the cover uh it's DC All New Stories, Superman for twenty cents, and it features Superman uh well I mean wh why don't Super you describe Boy. this? Yeah. Why don't you describe what this is? Um, what looks like to me some people that are under mind control walking in a river. Yeah. Some... And Superman is the Pied Piper. Yeah. So it's a bunch Superboy. of it's like a bunch of kids or something. It looks like a bunch of kids. 
in a giant line about to walk into a river and superman is flying overhead and he's he's playing like a yeah i guess he's playing superboy <laughs> oh yeah i guess i guess that is superboy so he's flying overhead and he's playing like a musical instrument and all he's hypnotizing all of these children to walk into this lake i got to say i hope that they um Adapt this for the CW. Okay, Jokes. this is from 1972. Jokes on you. This is a Christian thing, and they're getting baptized. Dude, <laughs> I mean, I don't see it in here, but I wouldn't doubt. Oh, my God, what is happening here? Sorry, I'm just like, I haven't actually read this comic book ever. It's so the, He's the, playing the Pied Piper, man. Yeah, actually, sorry, I'm decreasing the value of this thing by taking it out of the... I got This is a collector's item. I got it. Keep, I gotta keep it nice and safe. You listen, didn't man. You didn't hear that. You didn't listen, hear that. man. I got it in that t-shirt. Right? Whatever. Did you go to the one with uh, Batman and Superman on the uh, on your the side, or is it? You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. There's than a, that. Oh no, that's a comic book store that has the Batman and Superman. Oh yeah. we on the side. I thought you were. No, that's a. Yeah. No, it's an antique shop. No, there's a. There's a pretty cool comic book store. Around here. Well, great. Now people are going to find out where I live. They find out I live near a comic book store that has Batman and Superman on the side. No. Great. great. Now now they're going to come track me down. Mm-hmm. Let's do a fan meetup at, at, uh, <laughs> at, you know, the comic book store. You know, the one. Just, y- just the one. Just the one. Yeah. Dude, I love going to comic book stores. Comic book stores are like my happy place. My parents used to just drop me off at like a local comic book store and I would just sit there and I would just like spend the entire day there just like f- reading comic books. There was McDonald's next door too. So they give me like 20 bucks and they'd be like, there's your budget for lunch for the day. Go, go get McDonald's and then just sit here and read comics all the day. And I would. It was, it was sick. Damn, I'd have that. But like I'd go to like when they had Borders. Dude, fucking Borders. I remember Borders. There was a Borders in the mall near my house. And I was surprised that it went out of business because a lot of people went to it. Like, me and my family went to it at least two or three times a week. And it was still around. I'd be going there so often. Yeah, I fuck with Borders. I remember at the Borders by my house, there was like a... On the first level, it was like the normal bookstore. Yep. And then there was like an ele- or not an elevator, like an escalator. And then up yep. on the second floor, there was like DVDs and stuff like that. But there was also like a like a little cafe where yep. you could get like coffee and ice cream and shit like that. Yeah. It was oh, it'd be dope because like I know for me personally, there'd be always be Funko Pops at that place. Oh God, you and Lego lover. Yeah, man. You guys and your Funko Pops. I say that as I glance over at my yeah, your Funko Pops. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Funko Pops. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. It's cool. I most of those I didn't even buy. All the ones in the boxes are ones that my old roommates gave me, and they just did not want any more. So I asked if I could have. It. You can have it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they're they're new in the box, limited edition, two two thousand thirteen Harley Quinn Funko Pop. Tell me how much that one's worth, Lego lover. Oh, and and there's Ray and Kylo Ren. Oh, that's right. Yeah, how did you? So, how did you feel about the rise of Skywalker? Um, let's see. I liked it. I felt a little underwhelmed, but I liked it. Yeah. Spoiler alert for the rise of Skywalker, but also whatever. The movie's been up for two months. Figure it out. <laughs> um. Yeah, I thought it was pretty bad, but I. I mean, I had fun watching it. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm. I'm not gonna sit here and just like. I mean, I could just sit here and shit on it, but like, I mean, what's, I mean, everybody's already shit on it. It's a really messy movie yeah. and it's just not very good in general, but it's, it's fun to watch. There's a lot of lightsabers and explosions and all that kind of shit. You just have to think not t- too hard about it. Thanks, JJ. Yeah. JJ J- J- Abrams, it's the, the whole movie feels like him trying to undo all the changes that Ryan Johnson made to the trilogy that JJ did not want to be made. Like it was clearly Ryan Johnson setting out a bunch of like story beats and ideas and stuff like that. And JJ Abrams is like, this is not mm. where I wanted to go with oh, this at all. It's kind of like his own fault. He only signed on for the one movie and left everything like open ending and open ended. And he's like, all right, next director, come in, take it. Yeah. Well, cause it, originally it was going to be that they were going to have all three movies directed by a different, by different people yeah but then ryan johnson directed the last jedi and it was uh not received very well Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. by many people, mm-hmm. including myself. I do not think that that movie's very good. But See, man, there's like elements about that movie that could be good, but there's so many dumb decisions that it's just not fun. I actually think I like The Rise of Skywalker more than The Last Jedi, if I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah, I think I like The Rise of Skywalker more. But no matter what, The Last Jedi is better than Episode 1 and Episode 2. But not episode three because episode three is a great movie. Episode three is, with f- I think it might be my favorite. <laughs> fucking General Grievous and the lightsaber fight on Mustafar, so cool. Dude, did you know that that planet at the beginning of Rise of Skywalker that Kylo Ren is on is supposed to be Mustafar? Yeah, I heard about. Like, that. what the fuck is that about? It doesn't look anything like Mustafar, and they're like, oh, well, after uh, D- Darth Vader left the the planet started to change and i'm like man how are you gonna take the planet that's like only known for being a lava planet and then put a bunch <laughs> of trees on it and then put a forest in it? like how the fuck am i supposed to know that that's a that that's a lava planet man yeah, everything was a reach everything was a reach in the movie yeah i probably i don't know if i it's i kind of doubt i will ever watch that movie again to be honest i might just if i'm like doing a star wars marathon mm-hmm. with some friends but like i don't see myself like oh man i could really like i could really watch the rise of skywalker again i'll do that for force awakens oh i fuck with the force awakens That's such yeah a good movie. i really like the force awakens do you want to go through films that like you haven't seen but like everyone's like you need to watch this movie oh my god there's so many of them like i'm looking up here reservoir dogs poster right now it's there's so good. there's so many fucking like film film student movies that i have not seen yet <laughs> let me just go i have like a like a list of movies that i want to watch let me see what let me see what some of the most egregious ones that i haven't seen are dude in january i watched 22 new movies nice yeah so, so some of my most egregious ones that i haven't seen are uh john wick 2 i haven't seen any of the planet of the apes movies i haven't seen any of the back to the futures wow i haven't seen the godfather yeah, no or The either. Godfather 2. I haven't seen Goodfellas. Uh, I haven't seen Fight Club. I haven't seen any of The Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen any, uh, Die Hard. I haven't seen Rocky. I haven't seen Taxi. Damn, I really haven't. I'm like exposing myself as like a like a fake film student right now. You're good, man. But no, it's it's a lot. I haven't seen... There's a lot of movies that I haven't seen. What, what about you? What are some of your most egregious ones? I haven't seen Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen Taxi Driver. I haven't seen any of The Godfather. Um, I haven't seen The Irishman yet. Someone's freaking out about that. That movie's fire. Um, hmm. What are some movies that are coming soon that you are looking forward to? Um, definitely Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch. Mm-hmm. Just because I like Wes Anderson. But that's regardless. Uh, coming soon. Yeah, it wasn't that just announced. Yep. Like very recently. Yeah, it's coming out this year. So. That's dope. Um, the more I see about it, the more excited I am. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was that was my bad. I accidentally opened a video on my phone. Um, I'm excited for the Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson, uh, Batman. That looks. That looks good. That one, I mean, yeah, from from what I've s- okay, no, no, seen of it so far. Fears. Fears. It sounds, sounds good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that, that's the word. Um, yeah, it's got a good cast. Robert Pattinson, um, uh, Andy Serkis, fucking Colin Farrell as the Penguin, Paul Dano as the Riddler. Do you Je- remember when the rumor was going around for Jonah Hill as the, uh, the Penguin? Uh, no, was, yeah, Jonah Hill is the Riddler. They they wanted Jonah Hill to be Penguin, but he wanted to be Riddler. Um, and then neither of them came to an agreement. So mm. that would have been so strange. Jonah Hill as the Riddler, dude. What the fuck? That would been hilarious. I mean, now we got, like, Owen Wilson in technically the MCU. Yeah, he's in he's in Loki. Now, that's wow. that's that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that one. Anyone and everyone, bro. Dude, I like. So, like, do you keep up with Pokemon at all? I'd like to say yes, but 
Honestly, no. I'm like a I'm like a hipster Pokemon fan. I like the old shit. I like I like I, play I, the old shit. I only like the games back when they were cool. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. I just don't play. The most recent one I played is Sun and Moon. Uh, I heard Sword and Shield was bad, so I skipped playing that. Um, Get a Switch. Yeah, I also don't have a Switch. That's also <laughs> what prevented me from playing Sword and Shield. But, I mean, bless you. Thank you. I mean, my friend has a Switch, so I suppose I could just use his. But, I mean, eh, whatever. And I don't, broke. I don't, like, watch the anime. I don't anymore i don't watch any of the movies or anything like i i, th- I think there's like a reboot coming out the movies it, went hard there's like a they there, didn't have to yeah there's like a like a cgi like 3d pokemon film coming out soon i think i might be wrong about detective that pikachu too. no dude oh <laughs> my god dude i was how do you feel about detective pikachu i had fun in the theater but, you know, it's a very predictable, very basic movie. Yeah, I was really let down by that movie. I would honestly have to say that that was probably my biggest disappointment out of any movie that came out last year. Like, it was just, it could have been so cool and so fresh and inventive, but it's just like, it uses a bunch of the same movie tropes. It's just a cash in, honestly. Yeah, and the, the, also, the effects don't look very good. Like, I thought the effects looked really cool in the trailer. But then when I actually watched the movie itself, I was like, man, this kind of looks like garbage a little bit. But, I, I mean, I'm it was successful, so I'm sure there's going to be, like, uh, 24,000 more. Which, whatever, I guess. I saw that movie in one of those Adobe boxes, where it's, like, a whole bunch of like audio under your seats and, like huge screening oh i thought you said like adobe boxes like like i thought you were talking about like premiere pro or something no, like no, that no, i was no, like man, what like, are adobe, you referring to the adobe uh, box theaters yeah i got you i feel They're did sick. you uh did you ever see cats bro okay so it's coming to my campus for the free movie showing so we have every weekend mm-hmm. in a month and i'm so excited yeah cats is um the movie's certainly something it's it's a nightmare it's um so yeah i can't even i like i i was i woke up the next day after i saw cats and i was just like i had some weird dreams dude i was i was like feeling really strange feeling Uh, uneasy uh, yeah because i saw cats and i saw jason derulo's face on a cgi cat Dude, when you watch cats, take a shot every time they say jellical. What does that mean? Dude, you you gotta be a jellical cat. That's like the big thing. Jellical cats, jellical cats, jellical. Yeah, you gotta be the most jellical cat. Yeah, they say jellical approximately six thousand times in cats, and they also never explain what the word jellical actually means. So I'm just excited to watch, possibly at least favorite experience of a movie watching cats blue midwest mysteries we're the most this is the most jellical podcast around write that down you know for this thumbnail i should have lemmy photoshop our um our profile pictures onto the bodies of some of the <laughs> cats from cats <laughs> and just write jellical across the, the screen dude this dude the, the twr community radio is the most jellical uh youtube channel that there is out there that stops right now <laughs> Jellical. dude oh my god cats like I, every aspect of that movie just confuses me because like it's got people like jason derulo and taylor swift and you're like okay like i wouldn't put it past you and then there's uh like dame judy dench is in there or, like m from james bond like a classically renowned and like super well-trained actress is in there in this fucking movie about cats where everybody has cgi all over them it's just it's it's really it's horrifying so any of you out there who have seen cats make sure you uh leave a comment about what your experience actually i suppose they they can't anymore because those are gone so Mm -hmm. leave a 
I I guess but it's not for kids. I guess we're do no, we're doing like on this channel now, we're doing this we're starting to move over to like the wiki blogs. Like the Thomas Monroe community wiki thing that we have. Yep. Um like we've started making blog posts there for people to discuss which I th is a cool idea. I guess we just need to make sure that people actually use them. So, hey, if you want to interact with me or Ro or Percy Number 6 or anybody else who's on TWR Community Radio, um, go to the blog, the, go to the wiki blog and leave a comment there. I think there will be like the link in the description of this video or something like that. I don't know. It'll be somewhere. Um, Damn, it's a really good idea. Just unfortunately, that's almost like five years too late. <laughs> yeah, because no one uses the wiki ever. The only people that use the wiki are people with <laughs> the mods. <laughs> people with yeah, the mods and people with under like fifty subscribers who just want to be noticed, so they make their own pages and stuff like that. Mm. Which I, I mean that that's cool. Yeah, that's not criticism. That is just simply a fact. <laughs> is <laughs> is the thing. I mean, person number six, he probably uses that wiki more than anyone else. He's always updating. He, like, updates. He knows the shit. My favorite thing that he does is he updates, like, the TWRC championship page. And the only thing that he does <laughs> is he just updates, like, you get the title? champion for upwards of two months or whatever like that. Like, he'll just go in and change, like, the amount of days that someone has been a champion for. And I'm like, all right, man. You gotta get that daily edit in for sure. It's like it's like it's like having a snap streak, and just snap. It's like having a snap snap streak and just snapchatting someone streaks every day. All right, champ. That kind of shit. That's that's some middle school ass shit, dude. Streaks. 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 Good night, streaks. <laughs> I was definitely a snap. I still am a snap streak kid. I still have. It's my longest snap streak. Do you want to count snap streaks and compare? My longest snap streak. What? What do you mean? Do you want to count the amount of snap streaks or longest one? Oh, I can't give a snap streak for my life. My longest snap streak is one thousand one hundred twenty-four days with my ex-girlfriend. So that tells you something about me, I suppose. Mine's fifty-five with like my best friend. Ooh. I can't give a streak for my life because it's not that I don't give a shit about Snapchat. It's just, there'll be days where I just don't go on it. I feel that. Yeah, it's, Snapchat is like kind of a it is kind of a hassle, especially again if you're trying to like keep up with streaks. Then you're just like, "Oh, I got to wake up and go send this out to all my streaks this morning." It's like, "Man, I don't give a fuck." Like if I feel I only Snapchat people that I actually want to talk to and if it gets to the point where I'm like, "Oh god, I have to snap them today to keep my streak." And then at that point it's like just simply, I will not Snapchat them anymore because clearly I don't actually give a shit about them and what they <laughs> have yeah. to say. Dude, look at you. Look at you broke ass fucking nerd. Oh, look at, look, at, a, look at me 11. with the three cameras on my phone. Look at you with the measly one camera on your phone. Get this. Get this, this shit out of here. You gotta get that case with Arnold Schwarzenegger and like the gun. So it's like the three cannon. <laughs> That's funny. Have you seen that before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Bro. Uh, Sorry, I'm just I'm in the one percent, bro. I have a four. I don't speak rich. Sorry. I have a four hundred one k. Yeah, bro, you're just a broke ass okay, hater. You got AirPods too. Holy I do have I AirPods. Can't. They're charging over there. I'd I like, can't hang out with this guy anymore. Somebody recruit me to be a friend. I'd like to point out that I did not buy this iPhone. I did not buy my AirPods. They were a Christmas gift because I would never pay for AirPods. <laughs> but now that I have them, I can say that I like them quite a bit, even though I used to absolutely dunk on people that owned AirPods. I will now say that I understand the appeal. All right. Just got dunked on. Yeah, so don't at me, you broke ass losers. Wow, you really called them out. Yeah, I Chances think Chances are there's somebody listening to this right now with their AirPods in. There's probably somebody out there listening. Yeah, I I thought you were going to say there's probably somebody out there listening to this who's broke. And I was going to say, well, if you're broke right now and you're listening to this, then you need to get your priorities straight and do something other than listen to this stupid ass <laughs> podcast. Like, go get a job or something like that. Because, man, just so many infinitely better things to do. 
than to listen to this podcast. Actually, there's infinitely better things to do than to record this podcast as That's well. So fair. So we should actually. I think I feel like we should go like do something else because I let's just go exploring. Yeah, let's let's just yeah. You know, I'm I'm done with this. There's better things to do. I just like. I th- was this the first case ever of a podcast host talking himself out of <laughs> recording the podcast on on like not even a half hour? It's like all right, let's microphone. do this. Let's get this bread. Yeah, we're like twenty five minutes in. Whatever. The last episode was extra long. Not extra long, but the last episode was like thirty seven minutes long. So you know, we just kind of you know we crunch some numbers. We uh, drag the one over here, and then we carry the five, and then you know we just kind of do some addition throw in some imaginary numbers and stuff like that get to the square root of that and then you know that all it all multiplies out wow. yeah i uh do you study math or something i definitely don't mm-hmm. and if i did i would probably hate myself i'm so cautious about my math i think i'm gonna do bad in, in college that i'm taking it over the summer just to get it out of the way that's so funny well at my school they have a this credit i don't have to take any math classes anymore because they have a credit that fulfills both a dance and uh, a math credit it's like a movement analysis you are joking class yeah it's, because at my school you have to do like a certain amount of like film credits but then also you need to do a certain amount of credits that are in the art school but not in film and then also you need to do a math credit so i got my art school but not in film and math credits done at the same time in this class and now i never have to take math again you took a dancing class and and you got a math credit for it and i never have to take math again and it feels great holy shit guys thank you so much for listening to this podcast hopefully i inspired some of you out there to manage your time better and to be less broke really this has just been a this has just been a quite an eye-opening half hour i'd have to say so uh i'm is this like an intervention for you n- no i i'm just this is an intervention for the viewer to get them to stop <laughs> watching this video That's so fair. guys thank you for watching this podcast i'm mr mps 2002 i'm one railway only and remember out there everyone to stay jellical